So once these, once these pins leave, and this is our gate to get pushes out, if the creek should pull it forward, or for some reason we can't get out that gate, that's over there. And this pin will be going down, this pin will be going all together. There'll be no pins up in this area, they'll all be down that way. So the fence that was here is now gone, stapled up to over on that that post right there and over there it's stapled to that post and so the pin now I gotta go down to these posts and I gotta put some some uh, wire to pull the post together to make them strong I'll show you since I'm not doing that to all the post I wanted to point out <coughs> so we got a we got a fence here, we got a gate there, the horses are here, so why do I need this corral pen along this fence? Because Stanley, or Morgan Geldy, will take, and he puts his foot in these fences like this, these field type fences, he puts his foot in there and pushes them down. So that's why we do that. Unless it's a big pasture that he's in, which he can no longer go in a pasture uh, because he has Cushing's. Ruth, I'm going to knock that over. Rutez. 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 No, no. I'm going to knock that over now. Come here. Come on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just snipping. Just checking things out. Can I scratch on it? No. This is flimsy. You'll break it. Yeah, you'll break it. Mm-hmm. So you can't. You're looking kind of sleepy-eyed. Yeah, you're looking a little sleepy-eyed. Aren't you? Yes. <laughs> See those eyes? Yeah. She'll be laying down for a long. Okay, anyway, but that's that's why we have a round pin panel up next to the fence because of Stanley. So that's that. All right, so we're going to brace this post. And to brace post, okay, so this is a corner post scenario. You always think of your corner post that you're pulling the outside post to it and you want to pull at your cross brace. So that means you run a wire at the top and you run it down to the bottom. And I have one down there that's more set up like what they call a dead man, looks like an H. They typically put it in between, um, like on a long fence row, we have one down there uh, on a 300 foot stretch and anyway but on those then you put an X because you're pulling both sides so you one down there and one down here so that's how you do so then you know, this one on this side be always from the brace post down to the ground of the corner post always the same way so that's what I'm going to be doing here this is this is some high tensile wire here that I had it's really hard to work with, so we're going to find out if it works. First, I got to find the end of it. Mm -hmm. Here we go.
Look at there. Mm hmm. I knew she was going to be going down for a nap. All right, now. so later maybe two hours there's the setup
nailing down the fence now. Oh, look at that. All righty, here we go again. Today we got to weave this fence, piece of fence into this other piece of fence, which isn't too bad of a job. Got that tree right there that I've always debated whether to cut that down. And, but it does provide shade like in August and July when the birds might want to come down there and hang out right there. I don't know. It's not going to be a big tree, I don't think. I'm not sure positive what tree it is. I was kind of thinking it was a buckeye tree. But we'll look into that later. First we gotta get this dude taken care of. Cut that tree down and we'll get to put it back. Always trash in our yard from that road. So I got the truck there. And then, uh, so this one we use to uh, stretch the fence with. Uh, let me see way down yonder. There's an eight inch tractor. And there's work to be done on that. We haven't run in two years. My fault. Anyway, let's weave this thing in. This is not the high tensile wire, this is the, it's a cheaper wire and it's 
pretty soft and I used it to stretch or to brace my corners with and uh, it just it stretches so much that it wasn't any good for that but what it is good for is weaving that wire let's see if you I don't know if you can see it but I wove that wire all the way through to the top there so good for that so good enough for me not traditional but it works and it was a lot faster than tying it I would have had to cut the ends off you got to have long ends to weave it properly so you know I, fa I failed at uh, winning a blue ribbon but it's gonna work just fine Feels pretty good. It's on the ground pretty good. And push that down a little bit. Splice ain't gonna look no better than that. But it work and didn't even begin to come apart so might tidy it up a little bit. All right, time to hammer them down. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank. It ain't that long till I'm back at the pond.
Here we go.